Hi, good afternoon. This is Steve Harmon, Oakland Cemetery, and today is uh, November the 13th, 2023. And what I'd like to do is try to uh, <clears throat> update this uh, work package slash staging package. And if you saw my last video on the work packages, you can see from this screen here I made some changes. Uh, well, and if you look up in the higher left-hand corner, you see it's Oakland Test. Right, this is a test sheet, or you could call it a beta. I plan on you know, trying to work this thing out <clears throat> and, and uh, try to make it so it'll work. But uh, you can see I got uh, work package forms, staging package, cemetery information, websites, and nonprofit information. So what you'll see here, what I added was a cover sheet. Okay, I'll go over this. All these are what you would print out, okay, except this bottom one. This would be your staging package, where I call it a work. It's it's uh, linked to this data here, okay? So cover sheet. All right, I'll go over a cover sheet here. And uh, this would be, you know, your job description. And there again, you see master copy. You could put signed copy up here, uh, your work package ID. <clears throat> Uh, there's data there. I, I just don't have it filled in and then maybe who it's approved by and if you completed it by okay All right And then I did a change record sheet, okay change record sheet here uh, You know if you want to make add a tool remove a tool uh, a Correction in somebody's name or location something you may want to change or something you'd want to add to it that would help okay. and then I did uh, what they call an incomplete work list okay <clears throat> well there again I'll, as we go along in here I'll show you where this this can come into play uh, I use this for years for myself uh, my own personal incomplete work list but uh, you can add little notes in here you know uh, what wasn't complete on the job uh, or any other information that you'd really like to use but I found it very helpful and so you like I say you can print this out all right staging package all right so we went through this staging package before uh, on the other video but I'm gonna go ahead and pick a selection here <clears throat> and show you oh, we'll go back to uh, uh, Three, uh, section three. Okay, I right. um, and what I did here, I made a uh, a copy of this in a PDF because uh, I want to draw on here to show you. But uh, and also a lot of people have asked, why don't you center this your uh, your data here? Well, as you can see, I'm not a good speller. And I'm not a good typist, but there, there's information where you can write in here if you have to, right? And that works pretty good. <clears throat> but like I said, I'm going to come back to this. And so, and then we've already went over the tool report and consumable report. So here's the uh, uh, section three, okay? <clears throat> so if you're working this job, you're out in the field or whatever time it is so for example form cement epoxy well you you know you you're not going to be able to do all these steps at the same time because the form is cement the form is you know wooden form and the cement you would pour the form in the in the uh, in the, uh, the cement in the form and you, it has to sit okay so you're definitely not going to use epoxy, epoxy where it's wet things like that and if you remember, these two are the same, okay? <clears throat> I just don't have the name on this one, or I don't have the actual dates on these. But, and you can see there's a form here. See, I didn't I didn't add cement. Well, you could add to the add-on sheet or something. For, that's for an example. But, you can go down here and see there's two. See, these, both of these were kids. They're children. These are children. But, uh, Give you an example here. Uh, I fill material. All right. All right. <clears throat> now it's a good possibility 
that we could fill this in and we could complete this. So here's what I suggest to do is to uh, what you call a, a step track here. Whoops, let me, let me do something different here. <clears throat> Right, what I suggest, once you start this job, if you're getting on the job and you're starting it, make a circle, okay? Well, since you can complete this, right, you should be able to complete that, you would take and exit out, okay? <clears throat> All right, but let's say you went on these two jobs and you started, you started, you built the form, you make a circle. I'm sorry, man, but this is the best I can do with this. <clears throat> well, you can't start this one because I only have one form. All right, and so let's say uh, leveling compound and D two. Well, you could—it's a good possibility you could do that. All right, you started that. All right, there's two jobs you could have started. All right, and uh, this one here, there. You know, <clears throat> but to give you an idea, and so uh, you can see this one's complete, and these two you have started. That way, when you at the end of the day, when you go to put your your file up, uh, people will pick this up and they can see that you've started. Now you can make a note here if you want to, or if you want to add and remove, you can use this this uh, item here and put on the change record sheet. But there's various different ways of using this. But to kind of show you, a lot of times what I, you know, you could put your initial in here, you know. You could put initial in here. You know, saying you completed it or something like that. But to give you an idea, you know, that's what you call a little step tracking. You, you completed one and you started two. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now I uh, added another section here, cemetery information. All right, this here is the uh, the book that I went down uh, and made a copy of at, uh, of all the cemeteries listed in Hampton. So, and this is this is really good. I mean, you can see the code. I call the categories. Uh, and you can see, like, you got an I here, perpetual care, maintenance by volunteers, no maintenance, self-sustaining, uh, deteriorated and unmarked. And they got recorded in the uh, uh, clerk of court's office. I'm going to go down here to uh, Oakland Cemetery. So you see Oakland Cemetery, you got a B, you got an I, and C. Now the uh, C3, for example. Now, the items that are in parentheses like this, they have a map. This is all this is in one book, okay? But uh, you can see what an expense it would be for the city of Hampton to go in and take care of all these cemeteries. Not all of them are uh, privately owned, but you can see there's some destroyed. There's a, uh, a lot of notes in here, but this is a really good job. You spent some time uh, reading it, but I plan at some time to uh, put this on the website there or uh, on uh, YouTube so somebody can see it. This also, I went down to Hampton Library uh, as well and uh, copied this. I, it was really hard to do. I mean, I had to fold the pages to the printer, and then you're looking at each one. Uh, you know, folding it over and copying it and then being able to get them together and these are all scanned into PDF but you can see it'll show you the section and the page number well page number basically is just going it's almost a duplicate it's going to tell you the name and, and the dates and uh, you know information but it, this section here and this this should, should be suffice. I mean, since the section, it's not going to really add a whole lot of information. But 
and you can see there's quite a few. That's probably big. Uh, thing. I didn't do that good of a job. I think I missed some pages, but this is what's in the hemp library. And also, I think uh, Brian Dunn, one of the volunteers out there, did this in Excel. And so he went through, man, almost 6,000 names in here. Really good job. I don't know if I can put this on uh, YouTube or not, but just to kind of show you. And then uh, this is a uh, IRS tax exempt uh, for your your nonprofits. So uh, this is a link that I use. And then uh, Virginia uh, nonprofit, same thing. Nonprofit organizations. Also, see this is something I work off of. I mean, if. <clears throat> Instead of going up here, you know, grab this website, grab that website, or something like that, uh, it works. But this works pretty good for me. And this, this here could be sh shared on the cloud. And so this is a uh, Oakland Cemetery find a grave. Um, and this I don't know if you've been there or not, but uh, you could if you you can see there here in the left here. That's my ID for find a grave. So you're welcome to take a look and look me up. Uh, this is really good. This is a really good uh, department, the Commonwealth of Virginia Department of Historic Resource. Uh, this is really good. I mean, this I found a lot of help, especially when you don't know very much about the cemeteries and the requirements. And this has been really, really helpful. All kinds of training. Uh, all kinds of information and they keep up to date on this and I would strongly suggest taking taking your time and looking at it uh, National Park Service here this is a part of the Department of the Interior branch here and there's the same thing I mean, they're, they're loaded with the training different programs resources that are online I found a whole lot of information on here it takes a little time but I've been going to it for a few years now and then I got a gmail account here so basically I'll, I'll really all I really wanted to do was try to bring up to date on the changes that I made to this and uh, what my future plans are you know is to fill it up and make it workable so uh Thanks for taking the time 